Hey guys, I made this top 10 a really, really long time ago, but I had to delete it for a certain reason. But uh, now that's all over and done and said and stupid, uh, I'm putting it back up, so please enjoy. This video is intended for a general audience and is not specifically directed to children. This video is intended for all ages. Hey, how's it hanging guys? It is Eric here, and today I'm going to be showing you the top 10 facts about Johnny in Johnny Test. So up at number 10, we have that Johnny's facial appearance has changed throughout the series. One point is how his eyebrows were blackish gray or a really dark gray in season 2's episodes 1 to 3, in other words, from Hoist the Johnny Roger to Johnny Mint Chip. His eyebrows were gray most of the time, and just turned black randomly. This all occurs mostly in season 2, but at the end of the day, it is just probably a technical error. And the other point is how his nose has changed throughout the series as well. In season 1, his nose never really maintained a consistent structure, most likely on how that season was traditionally hand-drawn animated. The character designers for season 2 to 3 designed him with a pointy nose, and during seasons 4 to 6, he had a very consistent nose shape. This one also ended up being my favorite nose of his. And now for number 9 is that Johnny is somehow the most hated character among the entire series. And that's quite the odd scenario for such an old cartoon. Back then the main character was rarely the most hated character. It's a more common thing for modern cartoons to have the main character as the most hated character. But for Johnny Test, I guess it was different to people. And now for number 8 is that Johnny has a real knack for causing destruction. Not only can he easily cause destruction in his huge stunts, but even in while performing simple tasks. Sometimes he's even been seen to cause destruction on purpose. My personal favorite example of this can be seen in the episode Stinkin' Johnny. And now for number 7 is that Johnny is an extremist. As seen in most episodes, Johnny chooses the more extreme, cooler, and sometimes easier in his eyes route to complete most tasks. Such as in Extra Credit Johnny, he chose to have a fast lawnmower to mow the school's lawn, rather than to use the average lawnmower Teacher Man provided him. But if that is not enough for you, try watching the episodes Johnny's Left Foot and Johnny's World Record. Those two episodes probably hold some of the most extreme acts of Johnny. And now for number 6 is that Johnny does not take losing very easily. Like when Johnny's chances were looking very slim in the episode Johnny Escape from Bling Bling Island. He just simply thought how important this mission meant to his sisters, and he'd make as many attempts as it'd take until completion. And here's the interesting part, even when it's not him losing, he still doesn't take it easily. If you watch the Johnny Minister dog show, you'll notice Johnny doing just about anything it took to get Dookie into that dog show and to win it. He can be really kind hearted at times. And now for fact number 5 is that Johnny has the skill of manipulation and blackmail. This fact is mostly well recognized in the episode Downhill Johnny, where he's trying to win tickets to Mount Pork Billy Ski Resort and none of his family members wanted to go. But heck, if you've seen this episode, he's got his mom to allow them to use her vast variety of phones, got his dad to actually take them there, and persuade his sisters to go to the resort. And of course, this can be seen in many episodes, mostly to get someone to do something for him or to use an invention to his advantage. And as of fact number 4, Johnny Test is indeed a big sports fan. He can be seen playing baseball in Johnny Impossible, Stingin' Johnny, and Johnny on the Job. He has also played street hockey with his friends and schoolmates in The Good, The Bad, and The Johnny. He was also very excited about going to a hockey game in the episode Johnny's got a brand new dad. He's also been seen rooting for his home team in Johnny and the Ice Pigs. I guess it's safe to assume that hockey is Johnny's favorite sport. He's also played dodgeball, golf, football, snowboarding, skateboarding, track, and quite a bit more. And now for fact number 3 is that in the new Johnny Test Coming Soon promo, each character had a silhouette. 
and every character had a black silhouette, except for Johnny, who exclusively had a white silhouette. This very likely doesn't signify anything, but an interesting fact to point out nonetheless. And then, for fact number two, is that out of all of Johnny's love interests, he's returned the same affection and interest to each girl, except for Jillian Vegan. In the episode, Saturday's Alright for Johnny, he has returned the same love affection to Sissy multiple times. In the episode Johnny Super Smarty Pants, he's returned the affection to Janet by asking her out to a smoothie date. And unlike how Sissy gives him heart shape and eyes, Janet gives him hypnosis eyes. That's just a little interesting point, but let's get back on track. He's returned the affection to Claire Nefarious by continuously calling her hot. And at the end of Johnny Alternative, you can see Johnny, Dookie, Joni, and Dutchie were all just about to pronounce their affection for one another. So as you can see, Johnny has never returned the love affection to Jillian. Well, except for that one kiss scene they had, but I don't know if I should mark that. I mean, it was an accident after all. Eh, eh. And finally, for fact number one, is that Johnny actually wears multiple shirts in the span of his series. This is very hard to notice, and takes some real speculation and a study of the series. Now, each shirt maintains a symbol appearance, having a radioactive symbol displayed in the middle. For season one, Johnny had four shirts. Two of them were drawn with the scientific expression of radioactivity. But the twist is, one was designed right side up, and the second was designed upside down. And for the other two, one of them was given the design that we all know and love today, and the other one is just the design without the circle around the circumference. In seasons 2 to 3, he also had two shirts. Both have the simplified version of the radioactive symbol. But the twist on this one is that the first shirt is just the design, as you can see here. On the second one, he has the design, but this time with a gray circle around the circumference of the design. And lastly, for seasons 4 to 6, again, he has two shirts. It's pretty much the exact same from seasons 2 and 3, but the gray circle around the design is much darker. So basically, in each season, Johnny had multiple t-shirt designs. So, yeah. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. And if you did make it this far into this one, thank you guys very much. I honestly appreciate it. And if you did enjoy, why not leave a like to show me that you did? And if you want to see more Johnny Test top 10s and theories and other fun videos, uh, why not subscribe and you will not regret it. And if you want to be first to videos, why not study that bell down below? Also guys, I got a brand new side channel. Uh, if you want to go check that out, it's mostly uh, cartoons and stuff. So if you enjoyed this video, you'll definitely enjoy uh, my side channel. So yeah, go feel free to go check it out. And uh, yeah, with all that been said, I hope we hope to see you guys in my next video. Stay fresh. I'm Johnny Test and I'm walking around and I'm enjoying life with all the stuff I have and do and I'm Johnny Test and I'm enjoying life and I'm walking around with my big cool hair and I'm Johnny Test and I'm Johnny Test and here I go I'm walking around again and I'm Johnny Test and here comes a giant pencil <laughs>